Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime, and I actually have two videos I'm going to get out to you today, but this first one's going to deal with one specific topic, because we need to talk about the future of Super Smash Bros. Uh, and then later we're going to have a more Prime Newsy kind of video happening from our other set. But right now, let's get into the Smash stuff, because uh, Sakurai writes a column for Famitsu Magazine pretty much every single week. It's very rare that he misses a week. And uh, oftentimes, you know, he's not always talking about video games and all that, but this time around he is talking specifically about Super Smash Bros. And it has leaked, quote-unquote leaked, and there's been uh, some translations of it. And Nintendo Everything did a great job breaking it down, so I'm going to reference them uh, in this. But what we need to understand is that the second Smash Fighter DLC pack, the six new fighters coming, is it. There will be no more DLC after that, supposedly. At least there won't be another fighter pass. Uh, and, shockingly... This is th th this is maybe the big one. There's actually no plans for another Super Smash Bros. game. Yes, folks. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate might be the end of Smash. So let's get into the breakdown by Nintendo Everything. Uh, so six more fighters were announced for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, but there won't be any other characters after that. Once those six additional fighters are released, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate will be over, as in no more new content. Sakurai doesn't choose which fighters get in. Again, this has been repeated by him several times. It's actually chosen by Nintendo. Uh, he's in position to accept requests from Nintendo's proposal. Uh, if a character doesn't make sense, he can refuse it, but he doesn't cancel because getting stuck in game ideas. So basically, if you can't come up with an idea for the character, he doesn't just dismiss it. If Nintendo wants the character to get in, he basically will figure it out. Um, Sakurai can't do other jobs while making these fighters, so he's not currently working on any other games. Uh, this means he doesn't have a game he can release directed by himself, but he's fine with that, at least fine with that for now. Obviously, when this DLC ends, he could probably move on to another project. Um... Sakurai doesn't move based on his own desires, like wanting to make or direct a new game. So he doesn't, basically, he doesn't really make decisions for himself. He makes decisions based on what Nintendo's asking him to do. Uh, he works to make other people other than himself happy. So he's, he's a selfless kind of person. Sakurai isn't saying there is no possibility of Smash Bros. continuing in the future. But neither him or Nintendo are actually thinking about a future for the game right now or for the franchise adding all content without leaving anything behind would make a poor piece of work if you think about the near future releasing those bits by bits would make it continue longer and that's why these six characters are luxurious additions so what we're basically getting out of this is that he's not saying that super smash bros as a franchise is over but he's saying that you know in conversations he's having with nintendo uh they don't really have any plans for the future of the series and if you think about super smash bros ultimate uh, on face value it kind of makes sense it's really hard to follow up the ultimate super smash bros i mean think about it everyone is here remember that mantra back at e3 some years ago Everyone is here, how big of a deal that was, and they added all these other DLC fighters, adding six more in. There are more fighters in this game than basically any fighting game ever. It's already the best-selling fighting game of all time. Super Smash Bros. is the, one of the biggest fighting franchises of all time, and it seems crazy to think there might not be a Smash Bros. game in the future. But then again, if you think about it, how can you follow up the ultimate Super Smash Bros. game? Pretty much anything after this is going to be a little bit of a disappointment. And I say that because everyone is here. In the future, everyone won't be here. It, it, what, what they did with Ultimate isn't necessarily realistic for the future. And if you think about it, what's the big thing to do at this point moving forward? Make more fighters? But they're already doing that. So what is the future of Smash Bros.? Well, I don't know they need to worry about it for next gen. I say that because this game is so big, kind of like Mario Kart 8 on Wii U, which I know was a dead platform, a little bit different situation, but on a next-gen Nintendo platform, they could literally just port over Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Deluxe Edition and include all the DLC fighters for 60 bucks. That seems like an obvious go-to for next-gen, and they could just not release a new Smash Bros. game. They could just you know, republish the same Smash Bros. game and probably get really, really good sales. I don't know if they're going to match the sales that they did on Switch, but probably get some really, really good sales out of that. And it'll feel like a good value proposition because chances are, knowing Nintendo, it'll still be 60 bucks on Switch plus the two DLC packs. So like buying a whole other game at that point. Uh, so it'll still feel like a good value proposition to new Smash players or even Smash players that want to play it on the next system. Although the next system could be backwards compatible, so then you don't even need to. I, it's a whole mess of a thing that only Nintendo can solve. But I do think it's interesting uh, that it, it does appear that like Sakurai 
Um, he's not asking for more freedom. He's just doing what's asked of him. It, it's interesting to get this, get inside Sakurai's head because he's talked about in the past how he wants to do more. He wants to develop more games. He wants to do this. He wants to do that. Maybe even make games not for Nintendo. But he just keeps doing what Nintendo asks him to do because he's just selfless. He just wants to make other people happy. He feels probably a dedication, you know, you know, feels dedicated to Nintendo as a company. After all, he worked directly for Nintendo and stuff like that in the past under HAL Laboratories and all this. Uh, and obviously had a really close friendship with Satoru Iwata. Uh, and originally he was still just doing the Smash Bros. games as a favor to Satoru Iwata. Now he's not around anymore and he's still doing it. Um, you know, the last non-Smash Bros. game he made was Kid Icarus Uprising. And people really like that. And they're wondering, are we going to get another one of those? Well, now we can't until these DLC fighters are done. And that's if he even wants to do that or Nintendo wants him to do that. Uh, and right now, it's interesting because Nintendo's not asking him about a future for the franchise. Normally, what's been happening, at least what's been consistently happening for a while is outside of Kid Icarus Uprising, he's just been going from one Smash game to the next Smash game to the next Smash game to the next... Like, he just keeps working on the next Super Smash Bros. game, and as he wraps up one, he's already thinking about the next, but this time around's different. Him and Nintendo aren't thinking about what's next. Uh, they're thinking about, hey, let's finish this, and then, I don't know, it might be a while. Um, I'm not going to... You know, I, I know the title of, of this video is a little dramatic, but... Uh, the, the future of the series is a little bit in question. It's at least going to be a long time until we see another Smash Bros. game. I think there's going to be a big gap between this and the next Smash Bros. game. I'm talking 10 years. And at that point, Sakurai's starting to actually become an, you know kind of old. Uh, and will he even be running it? I mean, he'll probably still be directing it, but will, will he be doing everything? Well, you know, this time around in Ultimate, he actually divvied off some of the tasks. He's not the one personally um, attached to making sure every, every fighter is great. He's actually been training other people to do that. But I, I worry about the future of Super Smash Bros. in so much that Ultimate is basically, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, the perfect Smash Bros. game. It has everything you could ever need. And here's the thing. If you'd ask me about Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I'd tell you the same thing. It's like the perfect Mario Kart game. How can you follow that up? Well, Mario Kart is a little bit of a different story because it's not like an everyone is here. They didn't bring every track that's ever existed in Mario Kart together in one game. They didn't bring, you know, which would be the big thing for Mario Kart is bringing all the tracks together. Even if they have all the characters, bringing the tracks in would be the big thing for Mario Kart. So there isn't really an ultimate version of, of Mario Kart. There isn't one game that just pleases everyone. And they've done so many different things like Double Dash and, and all, like all these different things that aren't really in this game. So there's still places and directions and ideas that can go into Mario Kart to keep it going. And what, 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 what makes Mario Kart so endearing isn't even the drivers and the cars, it's the courses. And they can just keep making more courses, and they haven't had a game that has all the courses in. So if they want to make an Ultimate Mario Kart, they could do Mario Kart Ultimate and then combine everything together. So they're like, there's still... It feels like there's still something they could do with Mario Kart, even if I think Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is basically perfect. Uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, though, is different. It's a fighting game, so it's about the fighters. And this is the first one since the very first game to bring every fighter together. So I'm... I think I'm okay. Now, granted, I'm not the biggest like Smash you know gamer in the world. There's a lot of hardcore Smash fight, you know fans out there, but I think I'm okay if Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is it. And they just keep re-releasing it for a while, um, you know, on the next couple platforms. Because where else does Smash need to go from here? It's already so perfect the way it is. I mean, maybe they could do a special where, like, they bring it over to the next system and then they do another DLC fighter pack and they add, I mean, you know, that, that could be a future for the platform. You know, charge 25 bucks, 40 bucks, or whatever, and you get 6 to 10 new fighters. Uh, that could be something. But again... That also gives Sakurai time between when the development of those new fighters start and, you know, the end of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate to work on something else. And I think him and Nintendo might even want him to maybe work on something else, whether it's more Kirby games. Uh, you know, even though we get Kirby every year, wouldn't it be great to see him return to Kirby, which is his character? Um, wouldn't it be great to see another Kid Icarus game or something? Maybe he makes an original game. I don't know. Like, it feels like we are... And I thought, I thought this back at the time when everyone is here is announced... How do you follow up the ultimate Smash game? Maybe we'll never know, because maybe it never is followed up. Uh, and that's going to be interesting for the most popular fighting game in the world to just stop on a, its highest note ever. But, uh, hey, you know, it's better, it's better to stop when you're at the top than to keep reiterating until your franchise doesn't matter anymore. 
Anyways, you guys let me know what you think about all the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate news down in the comments below. Uh, I'm sorry about the Smash footage you've, you've seen of me playing. I, uh, I'm not very good at Smash, so... I don't think that's a secret at this point. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, I love all your faces. Be sure to drop a like, comment below. Let me know, like, who's your favorite character to play in Smash? Uh, I want to know that. That's one, one thing I want to know. And let me know uh, what's happening in your life uh, if Smash Bros. would exit from it. All right, folks. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and I'll catch all of you in the next video.